Hey there, this is Mahmoud and welcome back to my fourth Flutter based tutorial. Today we will learn a stateful widget. In Flutter, there are two kinds of widget. One is stateless, another is stateful. So if you know any front-end JavaScript based web framework where there is component use like Vue.js or React.js, then you should know that what is stateful and stateless component. Similar concept applied to Flutter as well. So stateful component means a widget that can contain its internal state. You can think this like as a, uh, a function with local parameters. And if there are state means that if the local parameter or local value changes, the widget will re-render. So you do not have to uh, apply new logic for that. It is kind of reactive. Just change the value and the widget will re-render and update the value. So let's start with the code. I created a project named state, a Flutter project and saved in my desktop demo directory. I remove all the template code only left the import part. So here I am importing the material dot dart package. So let's write the main function. And today we will create a widget. The name of the widget will be random widget. So now we will define a stateful widget. So to create a stateful widget, there is a shortcut. Just type stful and click enter. Then this two class template will be added in your code. So let's rename the stateful widget to random widget. So we have created a random widget and we are running this widget as the main widget or root widget in our app. So let's uh, create and update this uh, widget build method. So here you, you will seeing that you are seeing that if you create a stateful widget, there are two class created. One is the uh, similar like stateless widget. So this random widget is created that is a stateful widget. And within this class, there is a override method that is create state. And this create state basically uh, returning a random widget state object. And this random widget state basically another class that extend the state this class and within state it is uh, mentioning a reference to this random widget in, within the angle bracket and here when we need to update a state full widget we have to just update the code within the state object so that means random widget state object so here instead of container let's create a material app and give the title of the app bar is a random number and now let's define the body for this is scaffold and in this body let's uh, use the safe area layout widget and here in the child uh, let's use a column and i just give some comma to update the code layout and within this column there is a children parameter so here we will add some widget and we will be shown in the App. so the first widget will be a child uh, sorry the first widget will be a text so we are going to use the text widget and suppose this there is a text random number and uh, random number suppose here we are initially showing zero then in the text we also want to apply some style So let's give some style to this text. Text style. And within this text style, I give the font size to 30. Then font weight to bold. 
and i want to give the color color dot blue 700 so i have created a style for this text and now just for simplicity let's run this program in our ios simulator if you do not use mac you can use android emulator to test yourself now we are seeing that a random number colon zero is showing at the top so we want to make and uh, position it in the center so what we can do we can do it very easily just come to this text widget and click the keyboard button alter and enter or in mac option and enter then click this wrap with new widget and give center this layout widget so now it is showing at the top center uh, position but we want to show this in this position right so in that case we can just use the expanded widget another widget so i click just click in the center and then alter enter or option enter then wrap with a new widget and here you just type expanded and save and now you see this random number is positioning at the center of the total space so basically expanded take the all the area from the parent that's why this thing expanded and uh, it comes in the middle position to know more about expanded widget just uh, visit the flutter documentation and you will know yourself now we want to add a floating action button and scaf scaffold widget has a property for that so here uh, inside a uh, body or outside body yes outside of the body parameter you just type floating action button then again floating action button and there is a required field on press so right now i just type uh, print action nothing nothing more than that on press i just uh, uh, re-update the layout so that it looks beautiful okay so i define this on pressed action and now i will okay so on press box, uh, action button i added i also need to add a child for that so for the child i will use a icon so the icon will be the from the icon dot auto renew ah, this icon this is basically a uh, material icon and then if i save you see here it is a blue color icon is showing but i also want to change this blue color so for this to do that i can uh, floating action button i change some uh, parameter like background color so i want to give colors red 500 and then i want to change the foreground color as well so colors white and then just it okay so it's become a red but still there is no functionality so let's create some functionality for this widget so let's define a state variable so within the state class that means random widget state class let's define a variable int random num and you can make this variable private by providing an underscore in front of the variable name and give the initial value one and in the text widget which is showing random number zero here i want to string up uh, interpolate so i want to pass this random num variable here and if i save you see now he here it is showing one to generate random number in flutter we can use a math package from dart language so you have to type import then dart colon dart colon math now you can uh, create a random uh, number easily using the math library and what we will do we define a function inside random widget state 
so void also a private function make random number and this function what it will do it will uh, update the state so how let's let's do this thing in different way first so here in the make random number what we want to do we want to update this random num variable to suppose uh, the random number right so random we want to create an object of random class then call dot next in and we give the maximum number so and then we give the plus one so now what will happen that this random dot next in and uh, parenthesis 100 means it will generate random number from 0 to 99 but as we give plus one that means we will get a random number from 1 to 100 and what we are doing we are updating this random num variable inside this random widget state and now also use a print function to uh, see the output of this random num value so i just save this thing and also change this floating action button action so here there is an on pressed event and we just uh, remove this thing and instead of uh, we just make the uh, make random number function reference in this on pressed event so now after saving if i click this you see here it is showing flutter 33 that means this random number is 33 which we are getting by this print function but nothing is updated in this widget we again click you see it is showing 14 but nothing is updated here why is that basically the concept is same like react.js in react.js also if you want to update the state that means if you want that if uh, you want to change this variable value and this build method will automatically call then what you have to do we, you have to use a built-in function that is called set state so in react.js i also use this set state method which is a bit different but here uh, the concept is same so you have to use the set state method so just use the built-in method set state and in the body of this set state method you see in the set state there is basically an anonymous function is passing you see here within the set state passes right so within this function you just uh, put these two lines of code and now if you click this button you see the print is also showing the random number and also this text widget is updating again click 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 you see this is updating updating so this is basically the stateful widget so sometimes when we develop mobile application we need this kind of thing like uh, for certain kind of action the widget need to re-render so if this kind of situation happen to you what you do you just create a stateful widget and uh, if you want to define that widget just use this state widget uh, uh, state uh, class the build method so update this build method and you will get a stateful widget and also remember it is very important that when you want to update the state you have to use the set state method so this uh, this is a very important topic today i discuss with a very short example so if you have to learn in flutter state less widget state full widget these two concept is uh, many cases you will be using in further application development and if you understand these two things is what is state less widget what it is test uh, full widget then it will be very easier for you to develop flutter based application and if you never use any uh, front-end javascript framework like react.js if you uh, after learning flutter in any case you want to work with react.js or vue.js front-end javascript web framework you will find the concept will help you to understand the state better on those framework as well so this is enough for today I hope you understand the thing I discussed and so have a nice day and goodbye.